Welcome to the Animated Engineer channel, where we bring power systems to life. Today, we dive into a shocking truth behind the green revolution. As the world races toward renewable energy, a hidden danger lurks in the grid. Blackouts, sudden widespread, devastating. Could clean energy be destabilizing our power systems? Let's uncover the science behind frequency, inertia, and why renewable energy without the right support can cause the grid to collapse. Before we dive into the chaos of blackouts, let's first understand what keeps the lights on. Electricity flows through the grid at a steady rhythm, 50 hertz in Europe. This frequency is more than just a number. It's the heartbeat of the entire system. But when that rhythm falters, even slightly, the consequences can be catastrophic. And here's where inertia comes in. The old power grid was like a tank, massive, slow to move, but incredibly stable. Today's grid, powered by renewables, is agile, but fragile. So what exactly is system inertia? And how do we measure it? Let's break it down. The system inertia constant, known as H system, is a measure of the grid's resistance to frequency changes. In simple terms, it tells us how hard it is to knock the grid off balance. It's calculated using this equation. I indexes the synchronous generators, traditional power plants like gas, coal, and nuclear. J indexes the non-synchronous units like wind turbines, solar PV, and battery inverters. SMM is the MVA rating of each non-synchronous unit. H is the inertia constant of each synchronous generator. In practice, we sum up the inertia contributions from all the synchronous generators. Renewables? They're usually left out because they don't provide inertia in the traditional sense. And here's the key takeaway. More renewables equals less inertia. Higher inertia equals a more stable grid. When inertia is high, frequency stays steady. When it's low, the grid becomes vulnerable to wild fluctuations. When electricity generation perfectly matches demand, the frequency holds steady, locked at 50 hertz. But when that balance is disturbed, say demand spikes suddenly, or a fault hits the system, the frequency begins to shift. This dynamic is captured by the swing equation. Two times the system inertia, multiplied by the rate of frequency change, plus the damping effect, equals the power imbalance. Now picture this. If inertia is low, like a lightweight car, it's more prone to sudden jolts and instability. To keep it under control, we need stronger damping, like high-performance dampeners, to absorb the shock and restore balance. That's the challenge of today's grid. Less inertia, more volatility, and a growing need for smarter, faster control. Europe's power grid is a vast web of interconnections. Some countries are tightly woven into it, others less so. These links can be used to tap into the inertia of neighboring grids, borrowing stability when needed. But there's a catch. The benefit depends on the size of the interconnectors and whether they're AC or DC. If the connection is DC, it's electrically decoupled. That means no shared inertia, no stabilizing force. Ireland currently has three interconnectors, Moyle, East-West, and Greenlink. A fourth is on the horizon, scheduled for completion in 2026. But here's the reality. None of these will help with inertia. Remember, inertia is like a car's shock absorber. It doesn't stop the motion, but it slows the rate of change, giving the system time to react. Without it, the grid becomes twitchy, unstable, and dangerously fast-moving. Across Europe, the trend is unmistakable and alarming. Since 2015, the number of grid blackouts has surged year after year. As vast waves of non-synchronous solar and wind power flood the system, the backbone of stability, inertia, has been steadily eroded. Then came April 2025. A massive blackout swept through Spain and Portugal, plunging millions into darkness. For hours, modern life stalled. It was as if the grid had vanished and the Stone Age returned. So, what's the solution to this growing crisis? Energy storage, advanced technologies like high-capacity batteries and precision-engineered flywheels, 
We need robust, intelligent control systems, systems that can respond in milliseconds, not minutes. And above all, we need it all connected through a smart grid, a digital nervous system for our energy future. I've got deep dive videos on energy storage, battery tech, and the smart grid. Links are below. If you found this valuable, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. There's much more to come. Thank <laughs> you.